Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can find the inverse of a matrix where that matrix is um, larger than a 2 by 2 matrix. Um, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of a joint or aggregate method. And the explanation here goes as follows. Well, we assume that A is an invertible n times n matrix. Therefore, to find its inverse, uh, you will just have to multiply 1 over the determinant of A with um, a joint or adjugate of A. So, ADJ here stands for a joint, a joint or adjugate of A. Okay. Um, now, what is adjugate of A? In order to find adjugate of A, uh, what you need to do is you need to be able to find all the cofactors related to matrix A. So if A ha is a n by n matrix, therefore you will need to find the cofactors for each position. So this is 1, 2 until 1n and then um, it goes on like this. And then for the last row, it will be n1, n2, and then here is an n. So you need to find all the cofactors for each position of um, ij, yes. And then uh, you need to find the transpose of this uh, matrix here. Okay, so you transpose the cofactors. And this is the result that you get because the first row will correspond to the first column. Okay, for example, here the second row will correspond to the second column, and so on. Therefore, um, the idea is simple. What you need to do in order to find the inverse of a matrix is by finding its determinant. And so you can do this process of 1 over determinant of A. And then to find the adjoint of A, what you need to do is first you need to come up with all the cofactors. And then you will transpose that result that you get. And so this is the adjoint of A. Okay. Um, as always, it is better to look at example and here we have a 3 by 3 matrix and we are going to apply the adjoint method to compute the inverse of this matrix. Well, first of all, we need to find the determinant of this matrix and clearly there is no easy way to do this. We don't see any zeros to make our life easier. So, uh, I think any column or any row for expansion is, is okay but let's say I choose this first column uh, to be considered for, for expanding um, and for getting all the cofactors related to it so here we're going to consider the first column expansion therefore the determinant of A is going to be this value so 1 times with the cofactor here is c11 so this is at the position 11 this is 2 plus the cofactor at this position is c21 plus 1 times the cofactor at this position is c31 so this is the formula to find the determinant of a and uh, therefore, we are just going to move on to the process of finding C11, C21, and C31. So here is my uh, separate working area. In order to find C11, I need to know what is M11. And M11 can be obtained when you consider deleting the first row and first column. So I have 2 and 4, 3, negative 3, and the determinant of it is negative 6 minus 12. This is negative 18. 
what is C11? C11 is, well, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 is an even number. Therefore, the sign is positive. So, positive, negative 18, it's going to be negative 18. So, that is C11. Alright, next I need to find uh, the value of C21. Okay, so here C21. So, we need to find what is M21, which can be obtained if I, well, delete the um, second row with the first column. Uh, second row, first column. So, it will be 2, negative 1, 3, negative 3. And this is just negative 6 minus negative 3, which is negative 3. C21, well, 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 is an odd number. Therefore, the sign is going to be negative. Negative, negative 3 is positive 3. So, C21 is a positive value. And finally, I need to find what is C31, which can be obtained by first considering M31. And that is obtained by deleting the third row the third row and the first first column so the value that we are looking for here in this new matrix is 2 negative 1 2 and 4 and uh, the determinant of this matrix is just 8 minus negative 2 which is equal to 10 therefore c31 well 3 plus 1 is 4 4s 4, four is an even number Therefore, the sign is positive. Positive, positive 10 is, well, positive 10, which is 10. And we're going to insert all the values that we got here right next into, into this formula. So here we have C11 is negative 18 plus 2 times with 3 plus 10. 16 minus 18, so that is negative, negative 2. Determinant of this matrix A here is negative 2. So we are done with the first part of finding the determinant. Mm. Next, what are we going to do is, uh, well, if you see this formula given here, um, uh, we are done with finding the determinant. Therefore, the next step is to find the adjugate of A or adjoint of A. And uh, for this we need to find the rest of the cofactors. So far, we have got C11, C21, C31, which corresponds to this uh, position. Okay, and, and we need the rest of other cofactors, the other six cofactors. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. Okay, again, we have obtained C11 at this position. And then we have obtained... Um, C21 at this position and C31 here. So we need to find other cofactors related to the rest of the well remaining positions. Okay. Perhaps we can start with this finding the cofactor at this position C12 and then we move on to C13 and so on. Okay, uh, for that reason, let me just um, perhaps use another page for that so here we have um, we need to find the value of m12 so m12 can be obtained if you consider okay let me just erase this part so here m12 can be obtained if you consider deleting the first row and second column 2 4 1 negative 3 so the matrix that we have is 2 and 4, 1, negative 3. So 1, negative 3. And this becomes negative 6 minus 4, which is negative 10. And therefore, C12 is 1 plus 2 is 3, negative, sorry, odd number. So therefore, the sign is negative. Negative, negative 10 is positive 10. Next, uh, we need to find M 
1, 3, which can be obtained by deleting the first row and the third column. So, first row and third column. So, we have 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, and so determinant of this matrix is just 6 minus 2, which is equal to 4. Therefore, C13, 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, even number, positive sign, positive, positive 4 is 4. Okay. Next, we move on. Okay, so far what we've got is uh, we have done uh, position this, 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 and this. Next, we move on to this position. Okay, to find cofactor C22 and C23. All right. So, M22 can be obtained if you consider deleting the second row and second column so here we delete second row second column so here what we have is one negative one one negative three so here we have one negative one one negative three and the determinant of this matrix is negative three minus negative one so that is negative two c22 is um, well this is going to be positive because 2 plus 2 is 4 which is an even number positive negative 2 is negative 2 next uh, we move on to finding m23 uh, which can be obtained if you delete the second row and uh, third column so we have 1, 2, 1, 3, yeah? 1, 2, 1, 3. Determinant of that is 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. Therefore, C2, 3 is just, well, 2 plus 3 is 5. Odd number, negative sign. Negative, positive 1 is negative 1. That's it. Next, we move on. To the third row so here we're going to focus on finding cofactors related to these two last positions here mm. okay so we need to find what is m um, 3 2 which can be obtained when you delete the third row and uh, second column so so i have this matrix here is one negative one and two and four and the determinant is four minus negative two which is six therefore three three two this is um the sum of it is five what number negative sign so negative positive is going to be negative 6. Finally, uh, the last minor that we have to consider is M33, which can be obtained when you delete the third row and the third column. So we have 1, 2, 2, 2. 1, 2, 2, 2. And that becomes 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. Therefore, C33 is going to have a positive sign because the sum here is 6. 6 is an even number. So, positive negative 2 is going to be negative 2. Okay. And based on this, we can construct the uh, matrix which contains cofactors according to the position. So, the positions are, um, well... If I write down everything that I've got so far, CIG matrix here is going to be, well, for C11, this is the value, C213 and 10. So negative 18, 3 and 10. Negative 18, 3 and 10. And then uh, according to the results that we have done here, 
Mm, this is 10 and 4. So that will be on this side, 10 and 4. And, uh, sorry. And this one is negative 2, negative 1 on this side, negative 2, negative 1. And finally, this part here, negative 6, negative 2. Negative 6, negative 2. Okay. Uh, hang on. Okay, so that is the matrix with all the cofactors that we have uh, found. But then, what you need is not this, but you need um, a joint or adjugate of A, which can be obtained when you transpose the cofactor matrix just now. So now we need to find um, the transpose of this uh, cofactors matrix. Okay, so here we have, therefore, the adjoint of, of A. It's just Cij and you're going to transpose that which is equal to the first row becomes the first column negative 18 10 and 4 this becomes the second column 3 negative 2 negative 1 and finally this becomes the last column and th that is a joint or adjugate of a Therefore, uh, we can use the result that we have in order to come up with the inverse of matrix A. Therefore, inverse of matrix A is just 1 over determinant of A according to the formula. And then you multiply that with the joint of A. And in this case, the determinant of A that we have obtained just now is negative 2. So here is negative 2 and just plot in what is a joint of a negative 18 3 10 10 negative 2 negative 6 4 negative 1 negative 2 and you multiply that with this constant negative 1 over 2 so here we get 9 positive this one you get negative 3 over 2 this one you get negative 5 this one is negative 5, this one is 1, this one is 3, this one is negative 2, this and this is um, 1 over 2, this and this is going to be 1. So 9, negative 3 over 2, negative 5, negative 5, 1, 3, negative 2, 1 over 2, and 1. So this is the inverse of a matrix that is obtained using um, the joint method um, i think that's all for now and in the next video i'm going to talk about how you can use a different method in order to um, find the inverse of a matrix that is larger than two by two okay so that method is related to uh, gauss gauss jordan method Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.